<laughs> Do I need this? <laughs> My name is Ahmad, and I'm 49 years old, and I came from Manila, Philippines. I'm a Roman Catholic. My father died when I was five years old. My mother raised me as a Roman Catholic. Every Sunday, we used to go to the school, and I used to attend the Sunday school. And I used to be, you know, those people serving in the church, you call these altar boys. <laughs> I'm the cheap altar boy. <laughs> What made me interested in Islam is the call of prayers. Every day I'm going to the park and I'm always passing an mosque in, in the middle of the park. One, the, one time I sit in front of the mosque and I try to look what is inside. And I said, there is nothing there because in the, you know, in the Roman Catholic, there is so many stuff is there, painting, statues and everything. So there is nothing there and then how they are praying. And after a while, I noticed inside the right side panel, there is some design there. Then I tried to understand it, look at it, and every day, because I'm a designer, every day, what was that? That was so beautiful. And I learned that is Arabic calligraphy. Then I start to fall in love with the Arabic letters, actually. And then I was talking to people, and then they're telling me about Islam. Jesus Christ was not born in this. I, I said, guys, stop it. I have a, I have. Uh, study church history. I know Jesus Christ was not born in December, so blah, 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 on the, with the snow and everything, with the animals. I know all these things. Born in, in the middle of the desert, so it's not. <laughs> so what, uh, what are the, some, uh, differences? And then they talk about, uh, there is one God. And then I was a little bit confused because we have three and then you have one. <laughs> So that's the, I started to research, and then I was struck by this one, the oneness of God. So that's bring me something. And on June 15, I think 2005, I embraced Islam. Actually, that's my birthday. My biggest concern before accepting Islam is my family, my wife, my kids, and my, my family, my mother and my sisters. Everybody called me when I told them I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Why did you say Islam is so dangerous there? You are in the Middle East. People are there are crazy. <laughs> they are killing each other. They are bombing each other. Then you want to become a Muslim. What happened to you? What happened? What, what's in your mind? So it took a while before they understand it. I lost all my friends when I became Muslim. Because uh, we have my, my friends are evolving in the nightlife in Dubai. <laughs> So my concern is I want to stop those activities, so chances are I will lose them because I want to change my life because nothing is... I'm not happy anymore on what I'm doing here. Uh, from different bar every night we are going, so I said, yeah, I will lose them eventually. It was not a bad thing because I found a new brother who helped me in this journey. And Alhamdulillah, they are always here to help me out. <laughs> I'm the guy who just flow on, wherever the wind goes, I will just go in that direction. If the river is going in this way, I will go this way. I have no decision for myself. Uh, I just free flowing, whatever. And then when I accepted Islam, I started to study Islam and took some studies about it. Then I, I come to conclusion, I need to put some direction in my life. I need to be firm with my decision. When I say no, it's, it is no. If it is it's not conjunction, in conjunction with the rules of Islam, it is, I will not do it. <laughs> My sister, uh, the one in Qatar, she already accepted Islam. Accept Islam from your heart, that's it, because true love comes from your heart, nothing more, nothing less.